Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Liz of Chicago Law Luxury Makeup. Today, we are hopefully in our new filming setup. Um, yeah, I guess that's the right way to say it. Um, it's taken a long time. I've had to kind of really be creative and find a place in the house, and I think I have found it. So today, we are going to be talking about a product that is not new. It's not even really new to me but it's a product that I don't reach for. And I don't reach for it because I'm just not confident in the way I was using it. So I've spent a lot of time in the past week playing with this product and using it different ways to sh so that I would reach for it more. And that product is the Sheer Healthy Glow Highlighting Fluid from Chanel. <clears throat> this product came out over in the summer, uh, so summer of 2020. I picked it up in early fall and I maybe used it once. I just, I just didn't really know. I don't know. I bought it because I thought it would look really pretty. It really intrigued me, but I just never picked it up. So I've been playing with it and I thought I would show you how I've been using it and how I like it so that maybe if you have it, and you're in the same boat that I was in, you just weren't picking it up, that this will help you and give you ways and ideas of how you can use it and apply it. Or if you're interested in this product and you want to pick it up, but you don't know how to use it, then hopefully this video will show you that as well. So let's go. So we are first, I'm just going to do a whole full face of a Chanel since I'm talking about this product. And the two ways that, that I like to use this product, one of them <clears throat> includes using it mixed in with my foundation and the other one as just using it as a highlight. So since I want to show you both ways and since one of the ways is mixing in with my foundation, that's why I don't have any makeup on right now. I just have my skincare on. I thought I would just do a full face because that's fun. So like I said, the first way that I um, use this product is mixing it in with my foundation. So for foundation today, we're going to use the new foundation. This is the Healthy Glow Foundation. Healthy Glow Foundation Hydration and Long Wear. This is their new formula that just came out um, in like fall of 2020. And I am in shade B30. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do half my face with the highlighting fluid mixed in and then half my face without it. And then the other face, the other half of the face, I'll use this as just a highlighter so I can show you how it looks as just a highlighter. So I'm going to take just a little pump because I'm only doing half the face. So it's not that much. And then an even smaller pump of this. And you'll see that the bottles are the same. So they're glass bottles and this is in shade Sunkiss. There were actually two shades of this and I chose the darker of the shades and this is Sunkiss. So this is more of like a bronzy highlight and I believe it's one fluid ounce. Yes. So one fluid ounce or 30 milliliters. I am going to take a foundation brush if I have one. Um, we will use the new BK Beauty 101 and I'm just going to mix this together and then just apply this to my face. All right, so I'm just gonna take this on half my face. And kind of show you. And it really just gives just a little bit of extra radiance to your face. I don't think that it adds any additional color, um, at least to my face. I think if you were really, really fair, that then it might add a little bit of color, but I'm already pretty, I'm not tan, but I'm definitely not fair. So, all right, I need a mirror <laughs> so I can see this. Um, okay. So I really think that the coverage is nice and it literally just gives it a little, a little something, something. And 
and I think you'll probably be able to see it a little bit more when I apply the other half of my foundation. But like right in here, it just is like glowy for me. And it's that sheen, it's that highlight, which um, is what it's supposed to do. All right, so we're just gonna let that sit for a little bit. And now we're gonna go in with another pump to the other half of my face. And I'm going to this, for that half, I'm gonna use the, my Make Marc Jacobs Face 2. So, this is, I really do like this foundation. This is their new foundation. They did away with their old version of the Le Beige Healthy Glow, which was like my holy grail foundation. So, I have been on the hunt for a new holy grail foundation. Um, not sure if I've found it yet, but I am trying. I'm, I'm looking. This one, I like it, but it's not as um, full coverage as the, the original. And so that's why this hasn't fully replaced my old one yet. Okay, so there we go. We have half and half. And I can definitely see, especially right on my cheekbone area, that it's a little bit more radiant. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with some cream bronzer. And I'm gonna be using, this is the Le Beige Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream. And to apply that, I like to use the Marc Jacobs The Shape. This is their contour brush. And I just swirl that in, and then I just tap. Now I know I've said this, before, and I always say it, I wish Chanel would come out with darker colors because this is just not, I mean, it's nice and it looks, it looks all right on my skin, but I definitely could use a darker bronze. So I just kind of pat it in, just tap it in. I don't, I don't blend it because I find if I blend it, then it really, um, it <laughs> it will really match the color of my skin. So I just kind of pat it on so that you can kind of see that I've got a little bit of color. So we do that and now I'm gonna go in with some powder. For powder, I am using their Natural Finish Loose Powder and this is in shade 30 Natural. So to apply that, I'm gonna take my Chanel powder brush and I'm just gonna dip just a little bit in. You can see there's just, there's not a lot. And I'm just gonna very, very lightly put it over the face. All right. Now I'm gonna show you the other way in which I like to use this product. And that is as its intended use as a highlighter. I think that this makes a beautiful highlighter. So I'm going to actually use the Sony G Face 2 brush for this. And what I do is I just put, I'll just, I mean, the tiniest of a drop on my hand. And then I just kind of pick it up with the brush and just tap it in. everywhere where I would normally give myself a little bit of highlighter. And it's gonna just dry down and it is just gorgeous. So this is the, this is my favorite way to use it. Although I do think it looks pretty mixed in with your foundation. I do find that just lightly tapping it in, um, looks really nice and I you get that beautiful highlight and it's just very natural it's very natural very glowy I found that I like using a brush um, I've used a couple different ones but this one has been my favorite in terms of just kind of patting it down and it gives a beautiful highlight so 
and you can definitely see the difference. Like this side, you're not getting that, um, you're not getting that highlight that you do on this side, the placed highlight. Like this side is more radiant all over, but here you have that dedicated, or you know, highlight. And I just think that it's really pretty. So we are going to move on now. You're going to let that just dry down. And while that is drying down, I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes. And I'm going to use the Chanel Ombre Premier Cream Eyeshadow in Shade Scintillance. And this is what it looks like. Um, to apply it, I'm going to use a Tom Ford Concealer Brush. And I'm just going to go in all over my eyes. Alright, so that is done. I think my face is dried down and now we're going to apply some blush. I'm going to use Rouge Profound. This is a beautiful, beautiful red color and I have this in their limited edition packaging that came out this year. We are going to use um, a new Chikahoda cheek brush. I do not know what brush number this is because it's not on the brush and I just, it's new and so I don't know it. Um, Alright, so I'm just going to Put that in, place that on my cheeks and blend it. All right, so it just gives a really nice flush to the cheeks. Okay, now we will go in with eyes. For eyes, I'm going to use the palette. This is Tisse, Tesse, Revolve. I'm, I'm probably totally butchering that. It is um, 226. I'm going to take out the brushes. But that is what it looks like. So I'm going to swatch these for you. So there are the swatches. And I started with this color, which is kind of like a purple brown, and then the light color is there, and then the darker plum, no, and then I went to this one, which is like a rose color, and then the very, the deep dark plum. Sorry, I'm still learning where the camera is and how to do all that. So this is the eyeshadow that I'm going to use today. And what do we want to do? I'm going to take the my Chanel eyeshadow brush. This is like a blending brush. And I am going to take this. Um, actually, we're going to use this color. It's kind of like a shimmer purple mauve color. And I'm going to place that in my crease. Really just the outer corner. And I'm going to do that on both sides. Now I wear this quad to work a lot. So this is definitely a quad that you can make every day and use it for work. But I definitely think with these darker colors, you can make it, um, you can have a beautiful, 
beautiful smoky eye for an evening look. So just for right now, we're just doing that outer V, outer corner, and kind of just blending up just a little bit. Okay. Next, we're going to go in to this like rose gold color. And I'm taking a Sonia G Worker Pro and I'm going to go into the inner portion in the, of my lid, my lid. So the look that I'm applying today is basically what, how I would wear this to work. So it's going to have a little bit of definition, but nothing over the top and something that is wearable every day. So I just blend it in from my inner corner to about halfway with the eye. And then just kind of blend it up with the brush. Now we're going to go in to that highlighter color, taking a this is the Bobbi Brown Angled Eyeshadow Brush. This is my favorite brush for kind of like highlighting my eyes and placing it in the inner corner. This is a beautiful um, light pink highlight. It's gorgeous. I'm going to take a little bit and put it in my brow bone or underneath my brow bone. All right, I'm gonna put eyeliner on and then we're gonna go back in with that color once I get the highlighter on. Once I get the eyeliner on, oh, I can't talk today. Um, all right, so for eyeliner, I'm using just the Chanel um, Stilo. Oh, I guess it's the Long Lasting Eyeliner. This is in shade, uh, this is just their black and it's waterproof. And this is the kind you just turn up, like twist up and then there it is. So I'm just going to apply that. All right, so now we're gonna go back in using that same Bobbi Brown brush and that same highlighting color and just put it in the very center of the lid. Now I am going to take the, what is this, the Sonia G Blender Pro, and I'm going to go back into that first color that I used and blend. I just used just a little bit, just so that when I do blend, I've got a little bit of color on the brush. Now I'm going to take a pencil brush and go in my lower lash line with this dark color, the deepest color. And I've used this as eyeliner before on my top line before. Just wet the brush and go in and it makes a beautiful eyeliner too. All right, so now we're going to use mascara. And for mascara, I've got the um, La Volume, and this is in black. So there's the brush. I use this quite frequently. And I will just go ahead and put a light coat of mascara on. Really do love this eyeshadow for an everyday work look. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's got just a little bit of um, smokiness, but nothing that you can't make work during the day. And then if you wanted to make it, transition it into night, you can just go back in with this dark color and really smoke it up. And I think it would be beautiful. 
All right, so for lips, we are going to use, I've got the lip liner in Nude Boom. All right, and we're going to use one of my favorite lipsticks of all time. And this is the Rouge Coco Formula. I think this is my favorite formula of lipstick if I had to if I had to pick of all brands, all lipstick, I think this is probably my favorite. And this is in shade 402 Adrian. And this is just a very very classic nude. Like it's perfect. I mean you don't get a better nude than that. But because you guys know that I like to be extra, I am gonna go in with the Rouge Coco Gloss, and this is my favorite lip gloss of all time. And this is shade 119. Um, there's not a name on the back of my, on the sticker here. There is a name online. I don't know off the top of my head what it is, but there is a name. Um, but it's shade 119 and this is my favorite color. So I just like to put it on top just for a little something extra. All right. So I think, I think we're almost done. I think that almost completes the look. All right. And that completes today's look. And again, I just wanted to show you that we were, the what we were really discussing was this highlighter and it is a gorgeous highlighter um i do you can see it just gives a very very natural highlight you can't if you just looked on my face you wouldn't be like oh my gosh that woman just put on a ton of highlighter it's very very natural and it's very very beautiful um so i think when applied very lightly as a highlighter it is gorgeous now this side of the face, I mixed it into the foundation and I do like it, but I don't like it as much. I don't think that it gives enough radiance to make that much of a difference. And then I feel like this side is missing that extra highlight. So if I had to choose, I would definitely choose to use it as the highlighter. Although, you know, if, I think if you mix it in with your whole face, and then you went in with a, an additional highlighter, then I think it would look better. But I wanted to kind of show you each way um, so that you know you knew that there were multiple ways that you could use this. You could also use it as a primer. Um, you could put it down all over your face as a primer and then go in with your foundation on top and then your bronzer and your, high, your highlighter. Um, but again, I really like it just as a very subtle highlight. Um, and that's how I like to use it. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I encourage you to give me a thumbs up. Um, comment below if you've used this product and what you think of it. I'm curious to know because like I said, it sat on my shelf for months before I really started picking it up and playing with it. And now that I've played with it and I kind of know its uses, I like it more. So I'd love to hear what you guys think. And maybe other people want to hear, you know, other ways that I didn't mention. So we would love for you to comment below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. It means a lot and I appreciate it. Additionally, you guys can find me over on Instagram. I will leave my Instagram information below. And again, I can't thank you enough for watching and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.